This is Lillian, and she has absolutely mastered neutral position. Look at the level wrist. I can walk across that ridge, boop, 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 boop. going to the piano castle. Very nice, Lillian. Neutral position is a simple, balanced state of resting your fingers on the keys. The great piano teacher, Dorothy Taubman, realized that pianists can balance in the piano as simply as one can stand on the floor. She used the word contacting to describe this simple balance when the weight of the hand and the forearm balance behind the fingers. You can even have this same balance after you play a key, balancing in the key bed. To find neutral position, pick up your hands as if you are holding a book, palms facing upward. Then turn your palms toward the piano and balance your hand and forearm over your fingertips on the keys. It doesn't matter which keys you cover as long as your hands and fingers stay in their natural position, just like they look and feel when they're hanging freely at your side. If your fingers are not stretching apart from each other, you will be covering about three to four white keys. Depending on the size of your hand, the longer fingers will be closer to the black keys or maybe just over the black keys. The fingers will be in their natural shape and all the knuckles will be present and not collapsed or holding up and there should definitely be no sinking in the wrist. You want to feel the contact of your fingertips with the keys and feel the weight of the forearm and hand combine with gravity as you rest down over the fingertips. There will be no feeling of holding up in the shoulders or upper arm. You will feel the weight of the forearm and the hand behind the fingers. Remember, the keys are weighted and will support you. To find neutral position, simply pretend to hold a book and then just flip over. And what you're going to be covering is about three to four white keys. The long fingers will be in their natural shape so they're not curling. They might be over or near the black keys. If you want to be a little more out, you can be like that. So her hand's pretty small, so her long fingers if they're not curling are near the black keys. Is that curling? Not curling, is it? Yeah, that's good. And she's covering three white keys, these three right here. Let's do it with the right hand. Pretend to hold a book and flip. The nice thing about the holding a book is it keeps, sometimes people hold their elbow out away from their body. Now pretend to hold a book. You have to keep your upper arm down when you pretend to hold a book, don't you? So that gets the elbow in the right place. Now just flip. And we found a trick with Mimi. We're going to close our eyes as we do it. So this time, pretend to hold a book. Close your eyes. Now just flip them. Wherever they land, they land. Very nice. So she's covering three white keys. And there's no curling of these fingers. They feel nice and free. Nice and free. Very nice. You want to feel the energy of this imaginary water flowing through your arm as you balance your arm and hand over the fingertip. So we're going to have our, our letter V, nice and free. And when we land, we're going to have a letter L so that this is straight. Letter L's don't have a bend. They're, a they're supposed to be a line on the bottom. So we're going to land. Good. Good. That's nice. What I really like is your two's not poking into the... You have a beautiful finger shape. I should get a close-up of that. And look how the other fingers are not stretching apart. That is gorgeous. Let's do a th third finger. Look how beautiful that is. Very nice, Evelyn. Now let's see if it's a level wrist. It sure is. All your energy is getting into the tip of the finger. It's sort of like your forearm is a stream or a river, and the water's running through the forearm. 
and through the hand and through the finger and spilling out into the key. Is we want to make sure that when we land, we don't push with the finger in the key. Can you do that? Yeah, don't do that. Just pick up and land nice and easy. That's it. And everything gets into the fingertip and nothing falls back. There you go. Two. Try a two. The second finger. Good. Fall in your lap. Do a patty cake. Just the forearms lifting, that's all. Good. No upper arm. Very nice. Can it be that free when you drop on two on the key? Try. Good, Evelyn. Much better. Good. Now I don't see you holding out here now. Before it was kind of tight and out here. Good.